Hi guys, Tim here. I'm going to do another military um, video uh, for you. Well, here it'll be tonight or today, wherever you are living. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be a, a military history video, actually about the Suffolk uh, Regiment. So I'll get started. Um, the Suffolk Regiment was formed, of course it wasn't called this back then, but it was formed by the Duke of Norfolk back in 1685. Uh, so at the time all the regiments in the 1600s and early 1700s uh, were called by the commanding colonel or founder. So in this case the Suffolk Regiment back then uh, was called the um, Duke of Norfolk's own Regiment of Foot or Duke of Norfolk's Regiment of Foot. Um, and it comprised, well, it kind of was comprised of originally uh, militia volunteers from the Norfolk and Suffolk uh, villages, counties. Yeah, um, so that lasted from 1685 um, all up to um, in 17, uh, yeah, 1751, where at the Battle of Dittington in 1751, um, that is where you get, oh sorry, no, 1757 is where you can uh, get the last time a British regiment or British regiments were named by their last by their commanding officer until of course they changed to the having the regiment of number like in this case for the Suffolk regiment sorry the um, Duke of Norfolk's own regiment of foot in 1751 changed its name or well, every regiment changed its name from that uh, well from wherever you know colonel had uh, in this case the Suffolk regiment was the 12th regiment of foot or mainly East Suffolk's or just Suffolk in general, the 12th Regiment of Foot. So then from 1751 up until um, 1881, uh, uh, where you got in May 1881, you got the Childers Reform. So a bloke called Hugh, or Hugh Childer, um, basically he was the Minister of War at the time, um, kind of decided to change the name of the regiments to a far easier to exactly what they are far easier name instead of all the numbers so the 12th regiment of foot east suffolk's became the suffolk regiment and that's how it staged staged stayed like that up until 1959 where in 1959 the suffolk regiment after a long 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 reign um you know, Suffolk Regiment serving in both World Wars, uh, before that Boer War, Afghan War, loads, you know, hundreds, hundreds of thousands of battles. Uh, 1951, um, uh, they, well sorry, 1959, they um, amalgamated with the Royal Norfolk Regiment to create the first East Anglian Regiment, or, uh, or nicknamed the uh, Norfolk and Suffolk, Royal Norfolk and Suffolks. Um, then, in 1964, the 1st East Anglian Regiment, the Royal Norfolk and Suffolks, amalgamated with the 2nd um, East Anglian Regiment. Then again, the 3rd East Anglian Regiment, which both of them had nicknames, so the 2nd East Anglian Regiment was the... Um, the... Um, oh, I can't remember it now. Uh, yeah, forgotten now, I can't remember, it'll come back to me. Uh, but then you got the 3rd East Anglian Regiment was the, um, um, 16 slash 24 foot, so going back to the old days. And then, of course, they amalgamated with the, uh, Leicester, Leicestershire Regiment to create what we know as today as the Royal Anglian Regiment. And they, of course, served, you know, right through many places. And then going back to the, um, Going back to the East Ang the, the early East Anglian regiment in the, the 50s, they served in a place like Eden and things like that. Um, so yeah, that has been a little history, military history about the Suffolk uh, regiment. So it's it's one of the most popular regiments they are is in the British Army. Of course, you had this, and then you have the Norfolk regiment as well, which I'll do a video on as well or history about as well. Now I've brought I brought here a few little shoulder titles on the left here. 
you've got the First World War and very early Second World War period, but mainly First World War, um, Suffolk Regiment Brass Shoulder title, so of course that's what they had in the uh, First World War, all brass. And then, as I said early, they used them up until early Second World War, and then until 1941, they changed more of an, uh, an easier, man, easy to manufacture style cloth shoulder title as this Suffolk Regiment, so yeah. And um, there was a barracks built in Bury Sedmonds, which was called Gibraltar Barracks, named after when the Suffolk Regiment um, uh, took over with many other regiments, the Gibraltar uh, garrison um, in Spain in, in 1790s. Just why that's exactly why in the middle there you get the uh, Gibraltar Castle or Gibraltar Fort in the middle there, and why a lot of other cap badges have that as well. So, um, yeah, and of course the Suffolk shoulder title and other shoulder titles, brass shoulder titles and other shoulder titles of course will be, have their individual videos in the future. So, um, come on you, and so, um, thanks for watching guys, see ya, bye.